let's talk about music. Now music is arguably the third most important part of your film slash edit after video, audio and then it is arguably music. Now I along with most other people I struggle to pick the music to fit my edit. Now this is for multiple reasons but I brought it down to these three main reasons. So in this video I'm just going to try and break those down to how you can choose the best song for your video. Number one. Does the music fit your scene? Now this is a big one as otherwise your scene will get the wrong emotion across and it won't give the intended use. For example, now for this example I'm going to use a bike video. Imagine you do some really cool tricks on your bike and you put some kind of really romantic kind of guitar music in the background. Yeah, it's not going to work, but if you put some kind of cool, bassy, future bass music then it'll look a lot better. Another example of this is say you had like a Sam Calder video, you're not going to have some music like some kind of romantic music in the background for that. The next thing is the originality of your music. Now I know the NCS music is great and some of them songs are really cool on there. Now please, please, please don't use songs like Spectre by Alan Walker on the NCS music because it is so overused. I mean, literally your mum, your dad, your gran, they all use this song in their videos. It is just so annoying, and as soon as I watch a video of this, I click off it straight away. Now the main problem with using this kind of music is that everyone else uses the same music, so your video is not going to have the same impact as if like you have here some cool music that you've took in ages to find off some kind of SoundCloud account. Now my tip for generally choosing music is going to SoundCloud, Spotify, and then YouTube. Now I like to go on SoundCloud as that's really good as you can like really filter out what you're searching for and you can also see if it's got copyright free which is also important. Aiden Robbins did a video, I'll leave a link to that up there explaining copyright. Now I also like to use Spotify and I like to like search up like my favourite YouTubers like Sam Calder and you can find Sam Calder inspired playlists and I like to listen to those and find the songs I really enjoy on those playlists. I also like some of the songs on YouTube like Chilled Cow is a right good one for like lo-fi, all that kind of cool stuff and other channels like Trap Nation, however be careful as some of these songs can be copyrighted and also some of these songs can be very unoriginal as everyone uses the same song. Point number three, now point number three is does the song have a good drop? Now I know this isn't necessary for all kind of videos that you're wanting to give for example, you're not going to want a drop for some kind of cooking video, but for like most travel style videos, you're going to want a cool drop, like maybe 40 to 50 seconds into the song. Now when I'm looking for a good drop, what I'm looking for is a nice build up, you know, the beat getting faster and faster, and then everything cutting out, and then it's slamming down on that drop to really emphasise that moon. You also want the build up to that drop to be quite like, kind of calm and relaxing, to really contrast to that, so to start off with, say you'd have some kind of like the B-roll kind of footage and then when the drop happens, the build up to the drop, you'd be like looking up at the jump and then when the drop happens, you'd be going over the jump. I'll also leave in the description some of my favourite places to find songs and some of my favourite songs I like to use, so definitely don't check that out in the description. I also have a copyright free playlist on my YouTube channel, you can go and check that out if you want to see some great copyright free music. Okay, so now you can spend less time choosing your music and more time editing your cool edits. I hope you enjoyed this kind of style of more informational video, let me know down in the comments section, I'd really appreciate your opinion, what other tutorials you want to see, and until next time, bye!